What's going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order video. In today's video we're going to be going on over some of the secrets and easter eggs that are available for you to see in the Jedi Fallen Order trailer which was shown at last night's reveal of the game. But before we get fully into this video make sure to let me know down in the comments section below what you want to see in Jedi Fallen Order and also let me know what videos you'd like to see me make about the game. Make sure to smash like on this video to show support for the game on the channel and if you are new make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all things Jedi Fallen Order. But now let's get into the trailer breakdown and let's tell you the secrets and easter eggs I've managed to find for myself in this trailer. We're going to go through the trailer from start to finish, there's no point in jumping to the middle, to the end, to the front, all that kind of stuff, we might as well just go through it as it happens. So I never actually spotted anything until the first thing I saw which was the Jedi Starfighter when our hero Cal goes into the downed Venator Star Destroyer and you see him cut away a panel and he goes in and then you get to see this image. In this image you get to see the Jedi Starfighter which is blue and you also get to see um, I'm guessing a broken R2 unit since it's been inside of this Star Destroyer for so long. The Jedi Starfighter is actually blue like Obi-Wan Kenobi's ETA-2 Actus class interceptor which he used before the Battle of Utapau in Revenge of the Sith. Could this be Obi-Wan Kenobi's actual Jedi Starfighter we get to see in the trailer? I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't look like his R2 unit that's actually in the Jedi Starfighter but I think it could be quite a cool nod to that specific Jedi Starfighter that Obi-Wan used in Revenge of the Sith. The next little easter egg I spotted was a gonk droid which makes a brief appearance in the cantina scene of the trailer. It's nothing massive but it was just quite cool to see that gonk droids and other droids from the Star Wars universe are actually in this game and in the trailer. You get to see it when Cal turns around and looks at the Stormtrooper who is outside of the window of this cantina and then the gonk droids just slowly passing by getting on with this business. Nothing massive but it's a cool little easter egg or secret or whatever you want to call it which is in the trailer that people might have missed. The next one is the Imperial Probe Droids. Now we get to see these multiple times throughout the start of the trailer so it's not really a secret perhaps but I think a lot of people could have missed it. You get to see them floating around and there is actually one next to Cal when it looks like he might use the force to save his friend who has fell off the top of the Star Destroyer. Again it's a cool little nod to the droids which are already in the Star Wars universe. So in the next shot we get to see ATSTs which are present in the game. This isn't much of a big shock but you could have missed them if you weren't looking at this image on screen closely enough. They are in the bottom left of the image while the Star Destroyer is being taken apart. Again, nothing massive, but it would be quite interesting if we have to fight these when we do learn our force powers and we get our lightsaber in the game. I'm not sure if we will have to fight vehicles, but again, they are in the game, so there is that chance that we might have to fight them and learn a way to beat them. The next little secret or easter egg is the Sarlacc Pit which is present when Cal's friend falls off the Venator Star Destroyer which causes a dilemma. Does he use the force to save his friend and be found out by the Imperial probe droid which is right next to him or does he let his friend die and then it's sort of like it's a bit of a moral dilemma because what does he do? Does he reveal himself as a Jedi when his friend has fallen into the Sarlacc or does he just let him die and the Sarlacc can eat him up? A cool little nod there I think because you know in the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett falls into a Sarlacc pit and in this trailer Cal's friend looks like he's about to fall into a Sarlacc pit as well so that's quite cool I quite like that. The next little thing I spotted obviously everyone spotted her it's a second sister who is the Inquisitor and main villain in the story and has already actually previously made an appearance in the comics so if you do read the comics you will have seen the second sister already. So it's quite cool that they've put her into the comics and then they've put her into the game so it's not like she's brand new. You have already seen her if you read the comics, you are already aware of her. But now she's in the game and she looks insanely powerful and very smart but they didn't really go into detail too much about her. I just wanted to point out that she has actually been seen before in the comics if you didn't already know. So there's a little secret in there as well. The next thing I spotted is the K2SO droid or the KX series security droid which makes an appearance in the trailer for the game. Now this appearance is pretty vague at first, like in this image she's standing, or he is standing to the left of the stormtroopers and just out of shot, where in the next few shots you actually get to see the droids just stood on the cliff. And like I said, this takes place 
you get to see these droids when Cal is running from the stormtroopers who are shooting at him. Will we get to see a K2SO type character in the game? Will K2SO himself be in the game? Or will these droids just be background characters to show a sort of familiarity that they are actually in the Star Wars universe, not just the one we see in Rogue One? The next little easter egg or secret I spotted was the 41st Elite Corps clone trooper who has died on the ground of what looks like a kind of foresty planet. So I was thinking, is this actually Kashyyyk or is it just another foresty planet in the Star Wars universe? Now these clone troopers, the 41st Elite Corps, this specific clone trooper which is dead on the ground, was led by Jedi General Unduli and her Padawan Barris Offi. They were also led by Clone Commander Gree, so could these characters actually feature in the game? Will there be a mention of these in the game if Cal is coming face to face with the corpse of the 41st League Corps? Or will they just like not be mentioned at all? We'll just have to wait and see. Then we get to see Palpatine who also makes an appearance. I think a lot of people will have spotted him because this is him in the form of his Order 66 hologram, which is obviously a massive part of the Star Wars universe. Will he have a bigger role in the game, or will he just be featured a little bit since he is seen in the trailer, or will he not be featured at all, and will that be the only thing we get to see of him? Or could we get to see his apprentice Vader, since the game seems to take place shortly after Order 66, like they've already confirmed, where Vader would probably be at the peak of his power, I'd say. So this little secret I'm hoping shows that we will get to see Palpatine or Vader in the game, but we'll just have to wait and see. The next little easter egg type thing I spotted was the Electro Staff with the Purge Troopers. Now the Electro Staff has previously been featured in the Star Wars universe as it's been wielded by Grievous and Dooku's bodyguards so it's going to be cool to see them return. Obviously they've been changed a bit, they don't look exactly the same but they've still got the Electro Staff sides at both ends like Grievous and Dooku's bodyguards did have. Also the Purge Troopers, a lot of people said they were brand new, I thought they were but they have actually been featured in the Star Wars game before. They were featured in the Force Unleashed game but they have been completely remodeled in this game into these terrifying new characters who have been trained to fight Jedi. The next thing I spotted was the Star Destroyer Graveyard, which is quite a cool location in my mind. And I'm guessing that this is from the start of the game where the Scavenger Clan were taking apart a decommissioned Star Destroyer, but it could also be a different further along part of the game, which I think it's, is more likely because we get to see Ceres, which is going to be Cal's mentor in the game, and she has her ship then. Now, I think that this shows that the Venator class Star Destroyers are going to be a key part of this game. I think we're probably going to get to go inside quite a few of them. They've been featured in this trailer a lot and I think that they could play a key part in the story of us finding this lightsaber which is also a key part of the story apparently but they haven't gone into that lightsaber too much so I think we might have to go into the Venators, find hints and clues of what to do next in the story to lead us to the lightsaber. Now the next thing I spotted was the second sister actually using the force to control the ship that Cal and his friends are on. This to me shows how powerful and clever she actually is, so she could be quite a hard enemy to fight against. I like this sort of little nod to how good with the force she's actually gonna be if she can control a ship from the outside of it. And if obviously shows she's quite smart because she's used her own thoughts to actually be able to do this. It also leaves me to wonder what else can she do because I don't think we've seen anyone in the Star Wars universe control a ship using the force from the outside other than Starkiller in The Force Unleashed who did actually pull down a Star Destroyer from the sky using the Force which was insane. So I'm looking forward to see what the second sister can actually do if she's this smart and this good with the Force. Now the last and final little easter egg or secret I spotted was the ruined Jedi Temple at the end of the game, which I think is going to be a huge part of the story if Cal is searching for this Jedi Temple and this lightsaber inside of it. Now this could be Coruscant, the te Jedi Temple on Coruscant, which we get to see in the Star Wars movies, or it could be a completely different one, like we know the Jedi have temples all over the galaxy, depending on what era they're actually in, because we get to see Luke on Act 2 at the first Jedi Temple, then we get to see the Jedi Temple on Coruscant in the prequel trilogy, so I'm guessing this could be a brand new one, I don't actually know, but I do think it's a massive part of the story, considering Cal goes there, finds this lightsaber, 
and the lightsaber itself is also a key part of the story so I'm interested to see what this is all about. Now those are all of the secrets and easter egg type things I found in the trailer for Jedi Fallen Order. If I've missed any or you've actually spotted anything else please do let me know down in the comments section below but other than that we are done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you agree that some of these are really cool little easter eggs and secrets in the game trailer. If you just look a little bit closer you get to see these cool things in there. So make sure to let me know down in the comments section below if there are any secrets and easter eggs I've missed. Make sure to smash a like on the video to show support for the game on the channel and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all Jedi Fallen Order videos but other than that we'll see you in the next video.